Alumni. Shout out to his coaches, family, and the kid that he made a promise to. Uh, check him out on Instagram at Janathian underscore or Twitter at Janathian Marti. And to, to any potential sponsors, he said, should have never gave up on me. So we got Janathian Marti in the red corner and Eddie Perlaza in the blue. And we are just about set for three three-minute rounds of mixed martial arts action. Here we go. I want to know who the kid he made the promise to was. It, in parens, it said you. Not you, but you. Oh, oh. wow. God, I hate this position when up kicks can be. You know how Cowboy Cerrone neutralizes those positions? He calls them F-U kicks. Yeah. That's just what I always think. I'm always just like unload. Back of the thigh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice overhand. He's like a hair on the outside. Another mi missed match lead fight. Orthodox versus Southpaw. That left from Marty is coming down the pike. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, he, oh he timed it. Heard their legs just smash together. That sucked for everybody. <laughs> and Eddie starts working towards a triangle. Trapping those arms, which so he, he I believe, at up. the last, at the last Combat Night Pro event here at the Crib Royale, Eddie finished a triangle for a win. Yeah, I believe so. Nice left landed there by Marty. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Oh. Caught him standing up. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And is looking to finish the you show. Know. from that is crazy. If a he well can time. recover from wow. that, that is crazy. Wow. One minute left. A fantastically timed punch by Marty as Eddie's tried to stand up. Now yeah. Marty is keeping that pressure. Just I mean, oh. just missing with that one. Eddie needs to lock that down, gain some control, regain his wits. And now he can slow the action down a little bit if he can keep control of the arms. He really got dropped. He got. Oh, yeah. There was, a, there was a slight moment there where I thought maybe he was out. Agreed. He snapped back. He too. recovered quick. But, hey, man, this is mixed martial arts where if you make a little mistake, yeah. he got up a little too relaxed. Carelessly, yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Trying to was, land some. He's couple like, if I'm going out, I'm going out. 20 seconds. He's Good. got a. He's. Last 10 seconds here of the this first is round. Crazy. Oh my goodness. If he gets out of this 10 seconds. Oh. Instead of trying to finish the fight, Marley, is it Marley? Marty. Marty. Instead of trying to finish that last 10 seconds, Marty took that time to you know, talk some uh, some BS. No, I think what he was doing was addressing some BS that was spoken. Oh, is that what was going oh, on? Yeah. So there was a little bit of a. Uh, He's, he's working from behind now, and he's probably still got some cobwebs up there. Well, he's trying to make up for it now. Yeah. For those of you at home that may have missed the first round. Oh, wow. Nice leg kick to end it. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. What's hilarious is the reverse positions now. Yeah, this, this is where we ended the last round, but uh, in reverse. Are up kicks legal in the amateur ranks? Yes. Yeah. Yes, they are. And this is, that's a great question because every state that's has that's different that's amateur Illinois. fighting. Um, I was watching a fight the other day where the, the young lady had just gone to pro and was like, it was so nice to be able oh, to do wow. ground and pound. Look like he's trying to transition the arm bar. He is. He's, he's trying to. I don't know that. I, yeah. Hey. Yes. Way to so listen far. to your corner. Yeah, 
That's what I was to say is Eddie's corner wants the fight to stay standing. What and he took want? a moment, Ooh. stopped it, got him back up. Beautiful inside leg kicks. I like how he's just staying patient. Yeah. But his opponent's not checking those kicks, so he doesn't have to set them up. But he needs to stay off the fence, that's for sure. Oh. Then that's gonna and he again. takes him down. <laughs> but he's stuck in guard. You know, is he going to be able to posture up and start punching away? Now, in the first round, he at this point, he was easily able to pass Eddie's guard, but Eddie was maybe uh, a little rocked from the shot. So the question becomes, now that Eddie's regained his senses, he's able to work, you know, he has finished submissions from the bottom. Can Eddie repeat that triangle from his previous fight, or two fights ago? Gotta be careful with those wild punches from guard. I'm trying to push away. And, and you know. Oh, oh, wow. Did that land? Oh, my goodness. I, I think that might have hit the mat. I think it hit yeah. the mat, right? I think right? it hit the mat. Ouch. But he's trying to be active on top, which is the best thing possible. He's not just staying in the guard. Oh, yeah. You see he's trying to posture. He, he's putting he, the pressure he, forward. It, yeah. Oh, but also, it doesn't seem like he's interested in necessarily passing the guard as much as raining down punches from kind of like an open top position. And you see like the, the guard is open so he has the He could improve. He pass. could try to improve. Eddie closes again now. I think Marte is whispering some sweet nothings. <laughs> and David's they go back ear. to talking. I, I uh, swear. I think that's what's going on. Maybe they just want to have conversations. Yeah, see? It's one way. Yeah, it's still talking. Still talking. Bell rang. I mean like you when too? you... <laughs> When you're weighing in and like, nice is the last thing you're gonna be. And then you're standing in front of the person that you're gonna be like, trading shots with. That's like a perfect situation. Like make all the Kardashians what's cut weight. <laughs> that and then face each other, what, see what would happen. What's your food preference after a fight? Soup. 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 Like after a fight, not after weigh-ins. After a fight. Oh, after a fight? Yeah. Oh, uh, easy. Chicken wings, pizza, and uh, apple pie with ice cream. I've also soup after weigh-ins. After weigh soup is like the best thing for you. It's, it's the got sodium. sodium. And there's uh, a liquid. lot. liquid. Yeah, and then you get like the proteins, and oh. it actually helps your, your body uh, Easy to digest. Adjust, yeah. adjust to the weight cut, and then you rehydrate better because you're, you're putting in sodium. You're, you're welcome. You're hired. <laughs> You've heard it here first. I'm a big donut guy after a... Uh, Ooh, donuts simple, are good too. Simple carbs. It's honestly just anything nasty. Anything that'll make my gluten fire up. <laughs> oh, that was a That was beautiful. I just don't think it had anything behind it. Oh, it retaliated. That Yo, this guy's got some crazy eyes. Ooh, beautiful inside. <laughs> Those body kicks are landing back and yeah. forth. You have crazy eyes, you have crazy hair. It's insane, <laughs> man. What, what pattern would you describe Eddie Palazzo's hair as? That's, that's like a tiger. Right? That's, that's fair. Tiger? That's a tiger. A pink, a pink bangle tiger? Like a, a I, like, I like how she got very specific. Yeah. And I said specific, not Pacific. <laughs> Just want to point that out there. No. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the uh, Pacific Ocean. Yeah. <laughs> Those leg kicks haven't been checked yet at all. You know, but, okay, MMA, they fight a wider stance, and because they fight a wider stance, it's harder to check kicks. If, I have, if I'm fighting with a more narrow stance, I'm more likely to be taken down. Yeah. The wider stance is going to give me more takedown defense. Oh, don't turn your back. Don't turn your back. So we have... Um, Marte, sorry. For those at home, uh, I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> so Marte is, he has is one hook in. very hungry. Somebody, can oh. we, can we, can we grab him some food here? So the Marte Eddie. tried to essentially just yoke Eddie to the ground uh, and ends up in bottom. And that's the problem is Eddie keeps on putting him himself against the fence, mm -hmm. and he gets taken down, but he was able to scramble out of this, but 
You see, Marta is trying to, he has a body lock right now, but he's immediately transferring. Oh, it looked like he transferred to Mission Control Rubber Guard. We, we, we've had a lot of Rubber Guard Mission Control tonight. Yeah, what's, what's up with all these amateur guys doing high-level stuff? I mean, this is what we're like, saying. I'm, that's why, like that 15-year-old last fight, I don't like him. The game has changed. I automatically don't like him. Shorty, what, what weight do you fight at? 125. 125, 7, 7, 135, man. If you can make your pro debut, you already have one guy here that wants to fight I'll you. I'll fight him. I'll fight him. He says you don't have a good jab. He did. He did. <laughs> seven. Did if, you're, if you're still listening, <laughs> Seven, you did say his jab was garbage. <laughs> well, I like how you just over exaggerate <laughs> a little more. I, she said it perfectly. Oh, he did not have a jab. Know. Your jab is Seven, garbage. he said that you had a jab. You'd never touch him with it. Oh, man. Just use that position. Stay, at, stay up top. Get comfortable there. That's what you do. You stand over the person, and you just go as hard as you can. You're leaning up against a cage. Ooh. Not a lot can happen. He's got to go for the win here. What a round. Good job, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen, after three three-minute rounds in this championship bout, our judges have reached a split decision. Judge number one scores it 29-28 per Laza. Judge number two. Scores 29-27, Marte. Judge number three scores it 29-27. Your winner and new combat night featherweight champion. Out of the red corner, Jonathan Marte.